Okay, this uh, tutorial is going to show you how to add terrain to your map. First, make a huge uh, cube. Um, Alright, a good one would be 5 of 12 by 5 of 12 by 5 of 12 and build. <coughs> Now just give it any texture you want. Uh, I usually use the orange cat texture. And click build and it should look like this. Now um, go into your actor class browser, click the plus by actor, then info, then click zone info. And add zone info here and it should look like that. Also, um, this is this does not affect anything. But if anybody wants to uh, make icons like this larger, just double click, click display, draw scale, and just type in like two. It'll make it larger, easier to see. So. First, just give it some light. Click zone light and bring up the ambient brightness to about 1 of 2. And click build all. And now it should look like this. So now to actually add terrain to your map, um, double click, click zone info, then change B terrain zone from false to true. So now click your uh, terrain editing mode, it's the two mountains, then click new, and then just hit OK. So now this should pop up, uh, yeah it has nothing to do with that. So now you're ready to put in your terrain, wait, um, first now what you gotta do is click layers now click this unidentified and then open up your textures browser and then uh, find a texture you want um, you can find two grass textures under um, mesh, uh, lumber height just click meshes and oh. open up lumber height then go to meshes there's green grass and there is dead grass that I cannot seem to find um, to make a good and realistic texture yeah, there's dead grass. To make a realistic texture, you make several layers. So I'll show you how to do that. Just hit with your uh, texture selected. Just click New and just give it a name. Uh, it's always alpha layer. Um, so. So now you got this. Also if you want to add another layer, just select your new texture, click new, just rename it, give it that, let's give it a nice rock texture, uh, there. And give it final. So now just add some color to it. And now you're ready to make your terrain. So to actually put in the terrain, click painting. 
And now you can put in pills and crap. Um, it's usually recommended that you keep this big zone out out of your cube away since you can't go on it, but I recommend it because it will give it a more realistic touch to it for a background so it doesn't look like just one big um, place out in the middle of nowhere. So uh, just put in your hills. And then you can always um, edit them to uh, fit in with um, your texture with your thing um, to change the texture just select which thing you want and then uh, just click color and please mind my dogs if you can hear them So now, to exit this, since there's no little X mark, just click camera movement. So now, to add a house to your, a building to your map, just make a basic building, uh, 256 by 800 by 800. And, uh, just drag it into the center. And um, just just click hit add. My bad. And now to make for uh, when you make an outdoor map to um, give it to make it indoors. Um, say this is 800 by 800 by 256 so change 256 to 250 change 800 to 700 and then position it inside and then hit subtract and when you make it do not panic if the terrain disappears um, so then just add in a door um shit to uh make to add in the terrain again just hit build all and there you go so what if the terrain goes over uh through it so now just open up your terrain editing mode select painting change down the outer radius to about 178 now just move this down here and now uh, then just lower it I know this really sucks but and so then what you do is hit flatten then just flatten it and then it'll disappear I call it melting because it looks like melting um, and you can always increase and shrink the size of the, your radius also to fix this just flatten it around there like so So, there you go.